All right, let's take a look at our freebie for this session. Another new PowerPoint set. <laughs> surprise, surprise. This one comes from one of my favorite developers, though, DeSafa. Those guys are pretty good. Let's see here. Let me get you a link to check out the entire collection. Oh, you know what? In fact, I have a better page than that. Let's try this one. I had the guys put together a big bonus page for me. So if you go here to that link, check out all the details here. There is a ton of other stuff they went ahead and threw together for me. And you can uh, find the links to all of these bonuses and stuff in your JVZoo portal page after you pick it up. Lots of stuff. Let's just take a look at uh, one of the, or a couple of the templates maybe. Here's your freebie. What I like about these is they're, they're pretty clean. Clean in terms of the text. You know how one of my pet peeves is a lot of these templates and stuff. Oh, the text is all just teeny tiny. And I would never use it for a presentation, let alone create a video out of it. This, as you can see, uses a couple of interesting fonts and some... Let's just let this... Oh, you know what? Uh, your freebie comes with a rendered sample. Uh, let's take a look at that. You'll download the zip file, unzip it, and you'll get all this stuff here. Let's take a look at this. Okay, nice clean motion. Some interesting stuff going on. All right, not too much to handle, but uh, kind of a interesting colorful way to deliver like a message right all right so I'll let you go ahead and check it out and whatnot uh, let's take a look at anything we might need to know as far as modifying this real quick first of all you want to install the fonts and I would recommend doing a file save as and create a copy right so you don't screw up your master copy all right so that being done. Uh, let's see here. As with all our advanced templates, you are going to need slash want to open up the selection pane. Okay. And it seems that this is pretty consistent in all the templates that are in there. Uh, they have a couple of layers called elements. And I'm going to hide these two elements. And you'll notice that what they are now, what are they? They are these animated GIF files. Okay, these are on top. So if you want to modify this text, see this? These are on top. You want to modify this text? You can't get there from here, right? So what you do is open up the selection pane and hide these two guys. Okay, now you can go in and you can modify the text, right? And it uses uh, indigo regular and lemon milk, and I put the font in with the package for you. So go in, you know, think of a, a nice message or, you know, ways that you might want to, uh, it's almost like a, a kinetic topography kind of video. And I like that. The effects are nice and stuff like that. So you modify your text. Okay. Don't forget to turn your elements back on. And then when we preview this, right? It's rather nicely timed. So one thing I normally don't like about these templates is you can't control how long it stays on screen easily. Well, with these, what I found is I don't really have to do that because it moves at a decent pace, right? And it is what it is. It's meant to be set to music to deliver the message with text visually. That's it. I wouldn't necessarily try to make it do more than that except in a couple of the ways that we're going to talk about in just a second all right what else do we got all right more text blah 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 i don't care about that uh, let's go down here here's one this i might want to modify uh if i want to change the picture this is a transparent cutout oh please stop doing that why animated gifs just keep running you got to pause them <laughs> it's a real pain uh, but let's do this uh, this if I click on it 
It's a picture placeholder. Okay, so here's one way I can swap this out. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to change picture. I'm going to use from stock images, but if I wanted this to be a picture of me or any other image that I might have, you go to remove.bg and you remove the BG. Oh, but in case you didn't know this, now in PowerPoint we have a selection of cutout people. Nice. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this happy guy. Let's insert it. So I basically changed the picture and here's something we're going to want to know about. I'm going to zoom out just a touch here. So you'll see that well, it kind of cuts his arms off, right? I don't want that. The thing that will fix that is if I still have the item selected here, I'm going to go to picture format and I'm going to crop. So now what I can do is I can pull him down enough Oh, so that his arms are now inside the frame, right? And I'll go ahead and hit crop. And then if I want, I can make it bigger and do the deal. And that's basically it. Everything just works and boom, there we go. It's a shocking discovery. He looks shocked. I like it. Okay, uh, and then that's kind of it. If you want a box shot, they come with a bunch of templates for box shots, but they're Photoshop templates. And the tutorials show you how to use the free online service, Photo P, to create some kind of cool box shots. And really, that's about it. Not much else to do there. So that's kind of a neat freebie. You can play around with that and have some fun. Uh, let's see what else can we do, though. Let's rip this off a little bit. This is one of my favorite things. First of all, design-wise, we're going to be talking a lot about design. Here's some great design stuff. One of my favorite ways to come up with design ideas is to, you know, find stuff like these advanced PowerPoint templates. Ah, oh, you just can't beat them design-wise. You can't, you know, so let's uh, see what we can do with them. Now, literally, and we've done this a couple of times before, I could take this apart piece by piece and I could save them out as objects and I could recreate this whole thing in Camtasia if I wanted to right so that might be a project but that'd be a big project okay um, maybe one of the things I like to do with a lot of these templates is we notice that there is a lot of stuff here that is kind of useful possibly like these cool little elements. Well, they're just graphics. They are simply, in fact, let me highlight one of the elements. Let's right click, uh, save picture, and it is just a GIF file. So what I did was I went through and I picked one, two, three, four, five. I got six of these out of, I think it was just one deck, and I saved them out as GIF files. Now, if we go over to Camtasia, we can do is a GIF file is a GIF file. So, if you import them into Camtasia as a GIF file, then all of a sudden, now I have all these cool little elements and stuff to use that I already paid for. <laughs> Just pulled them out of PowerPoint. I'm pretty sure everyone can pretty much imagine how to use these, but if we have uh, images or you know, backgrounds, or anything that you can see or think of in a visual asset that looks like this. I'm just going to use a image of Maggie the Wonder Dog. And you just kind of place them and position them where you want. Have them do what you want. And uh, you can combine them and all that good stuff. In fact, one of the things I like about these templates is you'll notice that they combine a couple of them. Well, if we run this timing wise you'll see that that's a very effective thing to do it does a circle and then as soon as that's done it push you know flies out so you can stack them on top of each other in Camtasia or you know back to back like I have here and have some fun with that kind of stuff all right and then let's look at one more thing here this is another deck in the collection and 
uh, just all kinds of fun stuff here. Here we have some half tones uh, that we talked about before, little lines. Okay, you can't really create this kind of thing in Camtasia. I don't know. Let's do this. Let's right click. Let's copy this. Let's go over to our working deck here. Uh, let's add a new slide. Let's paste this thing. All right. I'm going to put it here. Now, I'll probably make it a little bigger even. I can, you know, make it any shape I want or anything I can do in PowerPoint to muck with this thing. But, of course, what we're going to do is we're going to right click. Uh, let's see. We're going to click on it. And let's go to the format. Uh, let's change the fill to black. Why? Why are we changing this to black? And then why are we going to right click? Save as picture. Let's call it a squiggly. Squiggly. Uh, I'm just going to save it in this directory as a PNG. We go over to Camtasia. And we go like this. And we find our squiggly. I'm saving some PowerPoint assets here. Let's go to assets. And this is where we saved it. Here's our squiggly line. Okay, can't create this in Camtasia, at least not easily. Let's drop it on the timeline here. And then let's right click. Let's add us a visual effect. Let's add us a color tint. There's only one color, and it is a dark color. It is a dark tone. Let's jack up the intensity, and then let's make this any color we want. Boom. Any color, any size. But essentially what we're doing is we're pulling, you know, an interesting thing out of PowerPoint. Right? Here's another one. I kind of like this. Where's, where is this guy? There he is. Uh, let's copy this. And if we kind of watch the animation here, see these just kind of come in and do a little bounce thing. Nothing too dramatic. Let's see if we can wrap that up. Oh, let's put it. Let's put it here. Paste it. And. Technically speaking, we probably could, well, I don't know, let's see what it is. Shape format, shape fill, uh, is our, I don't want it to fill black. Uh, that must be an outline, I believe. So it's probably an outline. So there's no fill, shape outline. Okay, so that's black. Uh, let's save this, and let's make it a little bigger. Ah, probably would hold the shift key, make it a little bigger. There we go. Let's right click and save as picture. Oh, I don't know. G-V-R-O-N, Chevron, something like that. Let's save it. And let's go to Camtasia. Let's go to Camtasia. Oh, let's see. Uh, here we go. Chevrons. Let's put that there. Okay. And I'll make it a little smaller. Let's add us a color tint. The awesome color tint feature. Let's turn up the intensity. And let's make it like yellow or something. Okay. Nice and subtle. Let's make it a little bigger. So all I want is this element to kind of come in and I probably maybe play with some behaviors for that, yeah. Uh, maybe reveal or sliding. So let's just see how that comes in. All right. So we can change the parameters on that. Uh, let's have it slide from the right. And then during, uh, we could have it just kind of fade, pulse a little bit. Uh, or we could actually pulsate it a little bit. And then slide it out to the right. Okay, and let's just 
see how that silly little thing works I'm gonna click off it and there we go okay same kinds of concepts that are used in these awesome PowerPoint slide decks right that we can just boost out of there and add to our Camtasia projects wicked easy stupid simple right any questions let's wrap her up there are YouTube end screens and all kinds of fun stuff right right take it easy everybody thanks for coming